greetings of the day dear students today we are going to study about the contour lines in detail in previous chapters i have already told you about topo sheets topographical maps and uh, i have explained you a little about contour lines in that so today we are going to study about contour lines what is the definition of contour lines what are they used for how are they uh, how uh, how are they used and uh, uh, what is vertical interval what is horizontal equivalent and how do we find out gradient so in this chapter in this uh, lecture we are going to study all these things so first of all let me tell you that how do contour lines look like when you open a topo sheet or a topographical map on that map you find some lines running like this this way in brown color and over here their height is written like 1500 1600 1700 something like that it is written meter it is always uh, meter so these lines are shown in brown color they are circular line they never intersect each other this line will not intersect this line this 1600 line will not intersect with 1700 although they may come very close to each other like they may come here very close to each other like suppose from here they are running like this but here they have come very close to each other and in second line also like this and this is even they can coincide with each other but they will not cut each other this is the property of contour line why contour lines will not cut each other because two contour line shows different elevations of land different height of land right this is showing 1500 meter height this is showing 1600 meter height right and one point of land cannot have two different heights clear so these types of lines are drawn on topo sheets or topographical maps right now what are these lines these lines contour lines are just imaginary lines joining places which have the same height above mean sea level like suppose if here you can say this is region just for example i'm telling you this is sambhal right and height of sambal is 1500 meter right and suppose this is rampur just for example i am telling right clear and rampur height is also 1500 meter above sea level clear so these two are having same heights and other places which are also having same heights will be joined by this line right and the line which is joining uh the places which have same height above the mean sea level that line is called contour line now why do we use this contour line in order to know about a place that how high that place is what is the elevation of that place right and to know about the slope of that place okay so now we have understood about contour lines how do they look like they are in drawn in brown color they are circular lines having numbers on them which tells us about the height of that place now the question arises why do we use these contour lines so we use contour lines in order to know the elevation of la uh, land and to know the steepness of its slope and the shape of land by looking at contour lines on a topographical map or topographical sheet 
we can come to know about the height of a particular place we can know about the slopes at that place whether that area is having gentle slopes or steep slopes or it is a plain right and we can also know about the shape of land about the configuration of land whether the land is a hill or that land is a ridge or that land is a valley or it is a depression or what we can come to know about the uh, shape of land which shape of land that is okay right so these are the benefits of contour lines now how do we come to know about the elevation of land we come to know about the elevation of land by the numbers written on contour lines like suppose here it is written 600 meter right so it is showing that suppose this is area this is our topo sheet clear and here also written like this 700 meter right 700 meter so we can say that okay, the this area is 700 this is 600 right so here we can say okay, it is like this like this right having uh, low elevation at the mid okay like this you can say clear or what we can have we can have like just only one line drawn over a very vast area you may find that one thick line like this was drawn this way which was showing 600 right and some other thin very thin lines were there okay like this thin thin lines were there clear so this thick line is just like you can say on our, our scale we are on centimeter scale we are having centimeter right and in between we are having millimeters okay so you can say that these lines were the sub parts of this okay like 600 it may be 610 620 630 640 so on right till 700 getting or not like once there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter okay so there are subdivisions in one thick contour lines okay so you may get just like this right so what does it mean it means that this entire topo sheet is having what is the height 600 meter only means it is a flat land okay it is having 600 meter height clear now like this you come to know now you you, you have uh, you have come to know about the height of the place right and as only one contour lines are, uh, is there so you can say okay, this land is uh, flat okay this slope is very very gentle okay not at all or it's flat land and the shape of land is you can say again flat right so like this you may get or in order to understand the steepness of slope in a better way i am giving you example suppose one topo sheet is given like this clear and here <clears throat> like this contour lines are drawn okay here it may be uh, one 100 200 300 400 500 600 and 700 right and on the other hand there may be lines like this running six hundred five hundred okay so you can see that here in this portion of topo sheet lines contour lines are very close to each other right and here in this portion they are uh, apart far away from each other clear 
so this portion is showing us steep slope okay a steep slope is shown by dense lines dense contour lines okay if the pattern of contour lines is very dense then it means that land is having very steep slope and if it is uh, the contour lines are far away then it means that okay the slope is gentle right so like this we can come to know about the steepness of its slope clear now shape of land as you can see these la these lines are circular right when you look at the lines you will find that okay it is like a conical hill right we are moving this way from here and these are the uh, you, you can say circular lines okay which is giving us an impression like that something which is circular in shape and whose height is getting increased okay very uh, in a steep manner from this side okay, right and very gentle manner from this side it is it will be like this this will be the configuration of this line this lines okay here it is showing that this portion is having a steep slope this is a steep slope and this is gentle slope so steep slope this is gentle slope right for steep slope we are having very dense lines and for this we are having uh, lines are very far away from each other clear so like this you will come to know about the steepness of its slope then shape of shape of land as you can see here these lines are going very, very uh, in a circular manner okay steeply from here and gentle way from here so it is like a conical hill you can say clear or a hill which is having one side gentle slope and another side very steep slope clear so this like this you can come to know you can easily find out the height of a place and the steepness of its slope and the shape clear now we will study about the contour interval so contour interval is the difference between two consecutive contour lines contour interval is interval or the difference between two consecutive contour lines like suppose if there is uh, let me draw for plateau suppose right here it is written 500 here it is written 400 here 300 so what will be the contour interval 500 minus 400 okay right so the contour interval here will be how much 500 minus 400 is equals to 100 or 400 minus 300 is equals to 100 this contour interval should be equal you should not have different different contour intervals you cannot take lines like suppose you have taken uh, you cannot draw a line here this way and representing 550 right or <coughs> suppose it is representing 100 and then it is 150 and then it is 200 and then it is 300 no the in it is incorrect okay it should be how much 200 and it should be 300 or 400 okay. this we cannot write the interval should be equal right we cannot write two different intervals so it should be 100 and then 200 and then 300 and then 400 like this it may be right so the interval here will be 400 minus 300 
हाउ मच हंड्रेड राइट और थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस टू हंड्रेड हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड माइनस हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड दैट विल बी द कॉन्टूर इंटरवल राइट सो दिस इज कॉन्टूर इंटरवल कॉन्टूर इंटरवल शुड बी सेम नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द वर्टिकल इंटरवल हॉरिजोंटल इक्विवेलेंट एंड ग्रेडियंट ओके नाउ वॉट इज ग्रेडियंट ग्रेडियंट इज द रेशियो ऑफ वर्टिकल इंटरवल एंड हॉरिजोंटल इक्विवेलेंट और यू कैन से ग्रेडियंट रेफर्स टू द स्लोप ऑफ लैंड इट डिटरमाइंस द स्टीपनेस ऑफ स्लोप how steep a slope is right gradient is what gradient refers to slope gradient is equals to steepness of slope okay now what is the steepness of slope like suppose here i am drawing Okay this is A and this is B Right here you can see that this picture A is having very gentle slope which kind of slope gentle slope the land is the elevation of the land is increasing very gently not abruptly okay and here this is steep slope here the elevation of land is not raising gently but abruptly okay this is called steep slope right steep slope maybe like this or steep slope maybe more steeper this way or it may be more steeper this way or it may be more steeper this way or it may be a cliff okay very very steep okay like this also a cliff clear like this also it may be like this like a mountain cliff this is also very steep very very steep slope clear here the land is rising abruptly okay from this side and here very gently so this is called gradient gradient shows us how much a uh, steep slope a land is having now in order to find out gradient what do we need we need to have gradient can be find out we can find out gradient by vi upon he formula vi is equals to it is stands for vertical interval and he stands for horizontal equivalent horizontal equivalent vertical interval and horizontal equivalent vertical interval and horizontal equivalent now what is the meaning of vertical interval and horizontal equivalent how do we find out this vertical interval and how do we find out horizontal equivalent see suppose this is nainital right and this is you can say mean sea level this is sea level you can say right mean sea level and this is you can say 
संबल राइट एंड इफ वी नीड टू गो फ्रॉम संबल नैनीताल दिस वे राइट सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज वर्टिकल इंटरवल दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज वॉट दिस इज वर्टिकल इंटरवल राइट एंड दिस इज हॉरिजोंटल इक्विवेलेंट राइट इन ऑर्डर टू gain a height of this much height we are moving this much okay that is called what and this will become gradient so you can say gradient is equal to vi upon h e right vi vertical interval right it is the height of a place above the mean sea level and h e horizontal equivalent as the actual distance which we have covered or traveled in order to reach at that place okay that is so suppose how you will find this gradient on topo sheet on topo sheet <laughs> you may be given on two lines this way right suppose it is 700 it is 800 it is 900 it is 1000 right and this is point a nenital this is point b sambal right point a nenital point b sambal clear now you have to find the gradient between these two points a and b right so in order to find out the gradient first of all you will find out vertical interval vertical interval means what is the uh, interval what is the dif uh, difference between uh, these two right uh, contour lines so here b is 700 and this is how much 1000 so 1000 minus 700 is equals to 300 right so it will be 1000 minus 700 is equals to 300 meter right now horizontal equivalent how you will find out horizontal equivalent suppose you what you will do you will take a uh, scale and you will measure it like this okay and suppose if it is coming <coughs> if it is coming uh, suppose 10 right 10 cm clear if it is coming 10 cm so 10 cm on this paper right so it means when 10 cm is here and on a scale it is written how much 1 is to 50000 that i have already told you about the scale right it means 1 cm on paper is equals to 0.5 kilo so it is